Don't wake me up Cause I'm still dreaming And it's not for us And it's not for you Watch my lips as they say Ireland has always had such a special place in my heart. My connection to Ireland is my family on my dad's side all are from here. My dad grew up here. My grandma's lived here for the past 80 years. The last time I was in Ireland was just before the pandemic. And I visited my grandma and my cousins. That was the last time I saw my grandma. She was the only person in my family who sung. I really feel like my talent is thanks to her. She always joked and said, you know what, Alice, you know where your voice is from. And I'm just so thankful for her support and just wanted to give back something that she gave to me. Oh my. I had wanted to come to Dublin as soon as the pandemic eased. I got an email from Amazon Music a while ago asking if I wanted to do an Amazon original session. I thought it would be really cool to kind of combine the trip with visiting my cousins. And back then I thought my grandma would still be alive and then she passed away and I thought, how cool would it be to kind of do a concert for her in memory of her? So I sat down with my cousin Chris and we were like, okay, how could we make this special? And he came up with the idea of um, adding flowers and then I said, okay, we need to have lavender in there because she loves lavender. I know, it's so gorgeous, right? I feel like we need to have a wedding right now. <laughs> I've brought my keyboarder, his name's Basti. Um, he'll be playing the keys. Then there's me um, on vocals. Uh, and I have three vocalists with me. I've got Daniel, I've got Jackie, and I've got Akina. I'm excited. I'm very emotional as well, just because um, this is the first time I've been back to Dublin um, in three years, so since Corona. Um, I wasn't able to fly back for the funeral of my grandmother. So that really kind of, um, it's a strange feeling because when you don't say goodbye to someone, you don't feel like you've had closure. And I think this trip, it'll definitely be one of those moments where you notice that um, that someone's not there anymore. I really feel like she was so good at creating a home. She had beautiful flowers always in the apartment and it was bright and it was yellow and it was instantly felt at home when you walked in. And now it's, I don't wanna say it's cold and empty, but it's emptier. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> oh, girl, so good to see you. So how, what is it like? What is it like to be back here, to be back in the apartment, surrounded by all of these memories? I mean, honestly, like being surrounded by you guys is beautiful. And I'm so happy that it worked out that we could meet up here in this apartment one last time. But it's definitely surreal, mm. you know? Like it's her apartment, but at the same time it's not, you know? It's like, I still feel like she's lingering somewhere around here. Like I still mm. feel like she's about to pop out of the corner and be like, there you guys are. But um, it's weird. I remember showing this to someone and someone said to me, it's so obvious on this photo that we're all related because we all have like such similar facial features. I think it was the nose. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the only thing we have in common. She created all of us. It's so crazy. And with, without her, there would be none of us. There's a lot of nice things that she had. Um, we hope we've kept the right things. Um, unfortunately, you have to throw a lot of stuff away, but it was more sort of like her clothes, her kitchen stuff, which we kept a lot of, but there is only, there's only so much you can keep. It's strange to come back to a place for the first time and then know she's not gonna be in here. I guess at least we have those memories, you know? I'm so thankful for that. We are at Mount Usher Gardens, which was one of my grandma's favorite places to go. And 
She's a huge garden fan. She loves plants, she loves flowers. It was always one of her biggest passions. And I think it also was a very calming way for her. At some point, she couldn't take care of the garden, so they moved into a flat. She still had like a little terrace. It was tiny. All you could see on this terrace were flowers. Whenever we came to Dublin, it was always every day some kind of garden show we were going to or walking through various gardens. I loved collecting the snails, actually. So my obsession was then uh, trying to find as many snails as I could or slugs. And there's like little videos of when I was a child, uh, like screaming, being like, Grandma, I found another one. So yeah, it's, it's so special to kind of be near that again and be reminded of that. You can't imagine I'm seeing you now You're so happy now Gotta feel so good To see you laugh out loud And I'm there smiling Cause what a time I didn't think we'd make it out What a long, long road it's been What a long, long road it's been I'm on the other side of it now Looking down Lovely graveyard. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's also just very surreal being here with like, last time I was here was like seeing grandpa. Yeah. And now both of them are together. They are indeed. And oh no. This is here we are. Here we are. There you can put them there maybe. Put them right there. Oh my goodness. Say your goodbyes. Hey grandma. Sorry I couldn't make it to the funeral. I'm sorry I didn't. I was supposed to call you a few days before you passed, but I heard the beautiful story of you wanting to um, be with Grandpa. And, uh, and then you left. I just, I'm so sorry I couldn't be there. Well, she's in a better place now. You know, she's no pain. She's no pain. She doesn't have that dreadful oxygen yeah. head around with her. The emphysema. Yeah. It's gone. It's gone. And she looked so different when she was laid out. She was so much happier. You could see that. Whatever happened to her body and her soul, like her soul is going to be wandering around whatever gardens she can get her soul hands on. Like she'll just be sitting on a bench probably somewhere, enjoying the flowers and the trees and taking it all in and telling me I should stop worrying so much. All right. Okay. Yeah, let's go back. Visiting my grandmother's uh, grave was very emotional. And we talked, we had a good chat. I told her about our project here and our goodbye concert. And um, I just hope she's doing okay. I think she just also loved music so much that she was just so proud that I somehow found a way to do it professionally. And I think that's all she wants for her kids and her grandkids is to just 
Just find something you love and see if you can make a living out of it because then it's kind of like the jackpot. Your words cut sharper than knives I thought we'd be sharing some time You want it too much and I wonder why Remember back then wasn't that nice But something happened in between lines You lost your faith and I So this trip to Dublin was probably one of the most amazing things I've ever done. And I really feel like this trip made me feel like I had closure. Because you know, when someone passes away, it's just so hard to kind of realize what's actually happening. And I think a, lot, a big part of me was closing off those feelings and not wanting to let them in. I had the best time here. I love Dublin. I loved that location that we found. I loved walking around the gardens. I love knowing that my grandma is somewhere here in spirit. I just want to make her proud, you know? I think we all just want to make someone proud in life. And this trip was just a memory of her. And I wouldn't be here without her. Yeah, I say, it's time I learn.